Castine in Maine is a typical New England port. But around the bend from its harbor, there's a rare sight, the only offshore wind turbine in the United States. The U.S. is far behind other countries like the U.K., which already has large offshore wind farms, the conventional sort, affixed to the seabed. But political resistance in the U.S. is softening. If offshore wind farms do become commonplace in the U.S., some believe floating turbines will be a key to helping the country harness its vast offshore wind resource. Floating wind turbines have been investigated by many. It's a very hot research area right now in the, in the world. The reason why people are looking at floating wind turbines is that a very great deal of the wind resource in the United States and elsewhere lies over what we call deep waters. These are uh, water depths over 60 meters. As you get above 60 meters, those foundation styles which are fixed to the seabed become less economical. So a floating system can get the cost of offshore wind down. The turbine at Castine is a 1-8 scale model of a 6 megawatt turbine that's destined to be deployed further off the coast. The test version will help researchers to predict how the real thing will fare in wind and waves. This 1-8 scale model deployed at this test site will simulate the behavior of a 6 megawatt floating turbine further offshore. The prototype, in addition to being 1-8 scale, is also constructed of the same materials and was constructed in, and deployed in exactly the same way as a 6 megawatt. So not only are we learning about the behavior of the system, but also about the materials, design, and construction and deployment. Some 500 kilometers southwest of Castine is a project hoping to take advantage of the strong winds off the coast of Cape Cod, Massachusetts by erecting 130 conventional turbines. So what you're looking at is the, uh, the construction of a first-in-the-nation facility. It's, we call it the New Bedford Marine Commerce Terminal. And uh, from this location, uh, we're going to change the world because from here, the first offshore wind project in the United States uh, will deploy. It will be the Cape Wind project. Though Cape Wind claims it could produce 75% of the electricity for Cape Cod, skeptics question whether it makes economic sense. There is some positive attributes with offshore wind in the fact that it's zero emissions, it creates local jobs, it's potential for manufacturing, but it is a higher cost energy right now. But like we've seen with solar, like we're seeing with onshore wind, we have seen as deployment has come to scale, we've seen those costs come down. If the same happens for offshore wind, facilities like this one in New Bedford would be a magnet for the industry. But it remains to be seen whether the idea will take off. For now, Castine's experimental floating turbine is the only one in the water in the U.S. Time will tell if it's a sign of things to come or just a fleeting curiosity.